In this video, I'll show you how to solve the Alex problem called drawing the reaction energy diagram of a catalyzed reaction. This problem is giving you two boxes where you're gonna be drawing an energy diagram. Energy diagrams have a general shape that look kind of like this. It wants us to draw the diagram for the same reaction, just one is uncatalyzed and one is catalyzed. And it's also gonna give you some information about whether the reaction is exo or endothermic. I'm having an endothermic reaction. For an endothermic reaction, that means that my products need to be higher in energy than my reactants. If this was an exothermic diagram, I would want it the other way around. My products would be lower in energy than my reactants. I'm actually going to go over to Alex so you can kind of see how, how to use this little drawing tool here. Um, so because this, these two diagrams are going to be for the same reaction, that means that we want our reactants to be at the same energy for both of the diagrams. So we've got this little kind of horizontal line that will help you get your reactants lined up with each other in terms of energy. So I don't want it like this. I want my reactants to be the same energy. And to do this, all I'm using is like my mouse. I'm on an iPad, so I'm just using my finger here to move that around. Um, then next, we want to place our products on this um, on these diagrams and remember this is endothermic so we want our products to be higher in energy than our reactants and they could be anywhere like it's not giving us information about how endothermic it is so there's not going to be a right position for these products the only thing you want to look out for is making sure that your products are the same and then we're going to place our activation energy on here somewhere and for an uncatalyzed reaction the activation energy just needs to be higher than that of a catalyzed reaction. So all that we have to do is on our uncatalyzed side, make sure that the activation energy is something higher than on the catalyzed side. And that horizontal bar is gonna help make sure that you're not getting them lined up with each other.